All right, so now we're actually gonna use those angle theorems to help us solve some things within a triangle, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do, uh, it's uh, question one, it says, what is the measurement of the angle from A to D to B and Y? Okay, so I want the angle from A to D to B and Y. So the angle from A to D to B is the angle that is right here, okay, where I go A, a, D, and then B. So if I look at the central angle from A to C to B, it's a nice straight line. This is the diameter of the circle. Okay, I've got a straight line going from A to B, and I know that the whole distance there is 15 centimeters, so I have the diameter here, and it's one nice straight line, meaning that this angle's measurement is 180 degrees. Well, this inscribed angle is inscribed off of the diameter. Okay, and since we have that angle is inscribed off of the diameter, that means that the angle from A to D to B must be 90 degrees. Okay, so we can fill that in. We're gonna put in a 90 degree angle here. Why? Well, it's because angle A to D to B is inscribed off of the diameter. Okay. All right, so question two is asking, what is the length of the chord from B to D and Y? So I'm looking for this length from B to D and Y, okay? Well, if you look, I have a triangle from A to D to B and back to A. And in this triangle, I have a 90 degree angle. And since I have a 90 degree angle, the first thing you should think of when you see a, a triangle with a 90 degree angle is way back in grade eight, you learned this a squared plus b squared equals c squared thing. And that, I know it has a lot to do with triangles, but we have a triangle in our circle. And that's actually most of our topic, is finding these triangles in circles, finding 90 degree angles in those triangles, and using that to find missing side lengths. So even though this is our circles topic, most of it is going to be triangles. All right, so uh, here's my 90 degree angle. I already have the biggest side, so remember that means I'm going to change it so that it's c squared minus b squared equals a squared, so I just reverse them. So I've got 15 squared minus 9 squared is equal to a squared, so I take the two sides that I know, the hypotenuse, and I know one of the legs, and I'm missing the second leg, which we're just calling a. So that gives me 225 minus 81 is equal to a squared, and that gives us, uh, sorry, that gives us uh, 144 is equal to a squared, and then we need to take the square root on both sides, and we take the square root. Now we have a is equal to 12, okay? So the length from b to d is 12 centimeters. Okay, why? Well, we have a 90 degree angle and a triangle, and we use that to find our missing side length. Okay, all right. Now, we might not be looking for side lengths, so if you see side lengths in your uh, circle, chances are good you need to find a 90 degree angle, but we might just be looking for angles as well. So question three says, what is the measurement from A to C to B and Y? So from A to C, to B and Y. Well, A to C to B is going to equal, uh, it's a central angle. So I have an inscribed angle, which is A to D to B. So same start and end points on both. And since they have the same start and end points and they're opening up onto this minor arc AB, the central angle must be two times bigger. Okay, so that means that ACB is going to equal two times 65, and so it's 130 degrees, okay? Question number four says, what is the measurement from angle ABC and Y? What is the measurement of angle ABC and Y? So from A to B to C. So I'm looking for this small angle here between the green and blue lines. Well, I found that this angle here, the central angle, was 130 degrees. 
Okay. Well, that's helpful because what that gives me now is it actually gives me, I have this triangle here, ABC. Okay, that's a triangle. Now that's helpful because all triangles have 180 degrees in total. So when you add up all three of their angles, they have to be 180 degrees all together. Okay, well that's handy because in this one here, I also have from B to C is a radius. And from C to A is also a radius. Which means that triangle ABC is, remember we call this isosceles. And that means that it has two equal sides and two equal angles. So my two angles that are missing here, ABC, and here, angle BAC, those two small angles must be equal to one another. And because those two angles must be equal to one another, I can find how big they are. So, in total, my triangle has to have 180. I already have 130 at my angle of C. Now my angle at A and my angle at B have to add up to give me my remaining 50. But A and B have to be the same. And since they both need to be equal, and there's 50 degrees for both, each one must be 25. Okay? So, something to remember. Uh, key points. These are some things like way back from grade 6. So all triangles add up to uh, 180 degrees. Isosceles triangles have two equal angles and two equal sides. Okay, so if you see a triangle made up uh, and it's got the radius as part of its side lengths, if you got two radii as its side lengths, then you've got an isosceles triangle. All right.